Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Uh, today I want to show you some updates that I've made to my uh, content app. I say mine, yeah, I built it with uh, Nick Remington. Um, and this content app is called Image Filter. And it's this one on Hour. So it's just called Image Filter. And what it lets you do is it lets you play around with the images in your Umbraco back office. So let's say you've got your image this one here on this um, about page maybe it's too bright too dark it needs flipping things like that I can edit this image using this content app so I've installed the content app and then so that means whenever I go into a, an image I've got this filter option here and if I've enabled these in the image processor um, settings I will be able to change things like the brightness so I can change the brightness here and then just let that do it for a moment. Yep. So I can change the brightness. I can change the contrast. And what the updates that I've done is they've allowed me to actually apply all of these at the same time. I can uh, change the different uh, filters here. So these predefined filters. So I can make it grayscale if I want to. So at the moment, and it also shows you up here, brightness minus 42, contrast minus uh, 40 and filter grayscale. I can flip the image as well if I want to. Uh, so this is all using image processor by James Jackson South and then I could e also rotate the image as well. So how many times do you have it where you need to um, rotate an image in the back office? Well even if you didn't do any of the other things if you click on reset there and just go to rotate even if you didn't do the other things you might use it to rotate something and then you've got the options here you can overwrite the existing image you can save it as a new image so if we save this as a new image and then go into here we have this original image and it's now rotated so if we go back into this and then maybe I do want to apply say uh, one of these filters here uh, let's say the sepia quite like sepia but I want to increase the contrast Oh, no, maybe decrease contrast. Yeah, so I can apply the sepia with the contrast and then I want to um, overwrite the existing image. I can click on that. And then this ha looks like it's not changed, but if you control F5, um, or in fact, it, it basically what's happening here is it, it's getting cached so it looks like it hasn't changed but if I open in the new tab and then if I do RND equals 1 it has actually changed uh, it just looks like it's not changed just because it got cached so if I go to about if I remove that image and pick number 1 select save and publish Yep, you see now it's it's got this new image picked and it's been edited. So you can imagine your clients, they've got a requirement. Oh, I really wish that I could do this. Now you can in the query string, but the query string is not really the place to do it. You know, when you're editing content and editing images in that way. You don't want to be editing the query string within the HTML and within the template because you do it for everything so this allows you to do this sort of thing but only on those ones you know that you're concerned with so let's have a look at this one so we can have a play with it so we can flip the image so let's see what it looks like that way oh back to front no we definitely don't want to flip the image should we add a filter let's do high saturation oh i don't like that to be honest there are probably going to be some that you prefer, some that you don't. Wow, I like that one. That looks pretty cool, actually. Save as a new image. So that image now I've got as a new one. And by default, it just puts in the name of the settings that you can do. So I might just rename this to be Friendly Chair. Save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that image on my about page I've already got it there but what I'll do is I will 
delete that one and I will add it as an image here that is pretty cool actually save and publish that and then let's have a look at it on the page I like it obviously I didn't flip it back so what I can do is I can go into the media item friendly chair filter flip horizontal save oh no don't click save because that doesn't do anything actually S uh, overwrite existing image yeah clicking save down here doesn't affect it from within the content app this that you ha if you want to actually save the changes you have to use these buttons here so that's done it and then if I control F5 we can see that that is updated on this end so yeah that's what the app is um, the say app is a content app image filter it's also available on NuGet so it's version 1.04 at the moment I did a couple of uh, changes recently to add these sort of options like over right existing save as a new image and the reset and all of that and combining all of the settings so I hope you like it um, please have a play with it if you have any trouble with it um, you can contact me I am at codechair Paul on Twitter and you know let's get using Umbraco V8 and let's get uh, using this content app I hope you like it anyway all right thanks for watching uh, click like, subscribe, share, etc, etc. Thank you. Bye.